welcome. If you're coughing, having a cold, the flu, you have bronchitis, COPD, asthma, respiratory problems, a sore throat, anything to do with your lungs, this herb is going to do wonders for your health. So when that virus, bacteria, or pathogen makes its way into our respiratory tract coming in from our nose or our mouth, it can affect our nasal region, our sinus, our throat, our trachea, as well as our lungs. It's a continuous fight. The bottom line is we get more inflammation. Inflammation produces more mucus. That mucus obviously affects our respiration. It doesn't allow us to get that oxygen into the lungs easily. We get this tightness, this congestion. So this particular herb called Molin is something that's going to do wonders for your body and you are going to see amazing results. Molin is a supreme, safe, and profound respiratory tonic. It helps open up the lungs. It eases spasms and tightness and coughs, as well as soothes that irritation and dryness. And when those membranes on our upper respiratory region, our sinus and throat, as well as our chest and lungs becomes inflamed, it hurts. Particularly when we continue to cough, that coughing just seems to aggravate our condition. Molin is a demulcin, and it's rich in mucilage and can soothe and protect that irritated or inflamed internal tissue. And when those membranes become raw, hot, irritated, or inflamed, Molin will soothe it, cool it, relax it, and get you to feel well so much quicker. So use a tea bag or one teaspoon of Molin and let it steep in one cup of water for about 10 minutes, and then drink it down. And do this several times a day along with excessive water. You need to hydrate, that will help excel the healing process. But you will see, within the first cup, an amazing change. This works like magic. I really hope that this makes a huge difference so you can start feeling better immediately. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because there will be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.